Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing this Deck of Scarlet Palette 04 look. So you will get to see me put this look together in just a few. So this month Deck of Scarlet did an amazing job. They teamed up with Melly Sanchez and she has a little card that they put in with the Deck of Scarlet that says, hey babes, I'm super excited to finally share this project I've been working on for a while for you guys. I'm obsessed with this palette and I hope you will love it as much as I do. I can already tell you, I absolutely do. Love you guys and thank you for making this possible for me. I can't wait to see your looks with my palette. So um, this palette is absolutely beautiful. The palette, it says it's fierce, fabulous, and irresistible. And I will tell you, that couldn't describe this palette more. So absolutely love these palettes. They flip up, you have a mirror. This flips up, you have your lippies. So your lippies don't get ruined by the, the any of the fallout. And speaking of fallout, when I was doing this look, um, I really did not have a whole lot of fallout, which was absolutely amazing. So I used a lot of dark colors, kind of doing a smoky look for fall. And again, I, it just didn't have a lot of fallout. I did at the end have a couple like little pieces here and there that kind of made me look like I had some freckles. But all I did was take a big fluffy brush and just wipe it away. It did not smear or streak across the top, so I really love that also. I did use some of the blush and the highlighter for my eyes also, and that's what makes these palettes so versatile. So you get your eyes and your cheeks and your highlighter, but because all of the colors are, are picked and are, um, I can't think of the right word, kind of blended together for a full face look, you know that you can pop these and interchange them and get multiple looks. So, and you're gonna see that in a little bit. But when I saw this palette, I was like, oh my God, I've, I've got to have this. In with this month's subscription, we also got a lippy crayon pencil. And so on one side, we have the, the actual, oops, wrong side. We have the actual lip liner, so that went on really well. I, a little chunk of it kind of had fallen off at the tip because it was a sharp tip, and I like to press hard. That's all there is to it. The other bit is the crayon side, and so that looked really good, but because I had gone with such a, a dark eye, the dark lip on the white skin didn't exactly look way great. So then what I did was I took this gloss called Sasha and kind of put that over the top and it really made it, it kind of toned it down a little bit for my fair skin, but it was still beautiful. So anyways, I can't wait to see what some of the other ladies put together with this palette with the Deck of Scarlet because I have a feeling that that's going to stay on my makeup table for me to constantly kind of pick back up because again it's just got some great fall colors. I did go ahead and take the Marc Jacobs pencil, a bright blue cobalt blue, which I know is kind of totally opposite of what the colors are in the palette, but I really wanted a punch of color somewhere. Um, I just didn't want to get lost in, in total fall colors, so I did line my inner waterline with that bright blue. So even though that, that their colors are so different, one is uh, warm, the other is very cool. Um, let me know what you think. Should I have tried a different color on my waterline or did you like the fact that the bright cobalt blue was kind of unexpected? So anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts and get ready because we're gonna use this palette. This is probably the prettiest deck of Scarlet yet. I think maybe it's because I'm excited to try some new colors and we're going into fall and whoop, it's gonna just be fun. Decisions, decisions. I normally start out with a, a light color all over the lid, but today I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, okay? You guys think I've been invaded by another buddy. So we're gonna pick up the blush called Adorable. So Adorable is going to pick up the base that I want to take Sagittarius and build off of. Sagittarius is pretty dark, 
but I wanted to um, be able to do kind of a smokier eye and build it up and sometimes if you don't have a darker or some type of a darker base to start off with the colors can be a little bit patchier and then you're constantly trying to add more and more and undo the patchiness etc so I was hoping by using adorable as my base we would have better luck at not having a patchy smoky eye and then I'm just gonna keep blending it towards my eyebrow bone and lightening pressure as I get closer to the top with a large fluffy brush I just want to kind of blend those two colors together and truthfully these are doing really good because I did not lay down a base or a primer I just got so excited about doing this look that I totally forgot the basics the great part is it's the weekend so I have a little bit more I don't have to worry as much about my makeup being or my foundation being absolutely perfect all day because again I, I've got that opportunity that it's just the weekend so whew. okay so I'm gonna take the Sagittarius on kind of a flat fluffy brush and I'm just gonna sweep it a little bit underneath not a whole lot maybe a third of the way I'm gonna take that same fluffy brush and pick up some New York I'm gonna pick back up this fluffy brush and pull up some more Sagittarius and kind of just blend on top of New York and New York in the pan has some sparkle in it as far as actually being sparkly on the lid I'm not really seeing that if you were hoping for that sparkly color in New York to wow you it's it's not or it just didn't wow me how about that all right so we're gonna pick up some diamond dust on that this is a Sigma firm shaper brush e57 now this baby has some sparkle so diamond dust it is it's kind of like some futuristic alien kind of look I don't know okay and for a pop of interesting color or just a pop of color how about that we're going to use the Marc Jacobs out of the blue pencil for the inner waterline I know this is kind of exactly opposite of the look that I'm doing um, it's got kind of a punch of brightness where this other these other colors are more matte and muted but that's exactly why I wanted it I wanted something that would um, kind of pop a little bit against the matted colors okay 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 so next I'm gonna take this domed Sigma utility brush and pick up the highlighter Pinot Grigio just kind of rounding out that inner waterline transitioning from that grayish color and then of course we're gonna shade that up underneath the eyebrow bone next I'm going to use some scuba water resistant mascara for the lower lash line I'm gonna let that sit and dry a bit before we do a, another coat I want my lower lashes to be a little bit thicker than normal normally I ignore my bottom lashes because they're really long and they just kind of get in the way today we're going outside our comfort zone please good to go outside your comfort zone otherwise life is boring since I'm going with a smokier eye look I don't want a precise upper liner so I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs this was in blacker tell me that ain't cute it's like lacquer but it's black and we're gonna use that for the upper water line upper water line how about the upper lash line water line lash line potato potato
Thank you so much for watching this episode with the Deck of Scarlet. This is the palette 04. I absolutely love it. This may be my favorite palette they have put out yet. I don't know if it's just because I'm in the mood for fall, but I friggin' love this palette. So I have a feeling this is going to be going with me a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm just saying. So if you've tried the Deck of Scarlet subscriptions, what do you think about it? If you haven't, how come you haven't jumped into this subscription? It's absolutely wonderful. Please put your thoughts and comments below. I am totally cur 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 curious, <laughs> curious <laughs> to see what you think. I also want to thank you so much for joining my videos. I absolutely love the new friends that I have made on YouTube. You guys make my day. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.